Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. Today we've got benchmarking. That's right, we are benchmarking the Zotac Trinity RTX 3080. We're going to be using Awesome Miner, getting that down into Phoenix Miner uh, with Ethereum. So, benchmarking by community request. Fortunate for us, we've been able to secure not one, but two RTX 3080s. So, when we talk about real world numbers, we're bringing two of these to you side by side. We do have a NVIDIA GeForce. RTX 3080 this is the FE model and we are going to be benchmarking today with this video the Zotac Trinity RTX 3080 in the description down below we got links to all this stuff but if you guys are new to the channel this is definitely a good time to hit that subscription bell also give us a thumbs up if you like these comparisons or these types of videos on the 3080 comment down below tell us what you think but Awesome Miner is the application that we are using to run Phoenix Miner and all the other miners. It makes it nice and easy. There's a lot of different reasons why you might use Awesome Miner. We also are currently using MSI Afterburner to control our overclocks. Guys, be careful with your overclocks. I don't want you to burst or bust these things right out of the gate. But as you can see, we got the Zotac Trinity RTX 3080 here, and that's what we're hammering away with. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel. We focus on pool testings, how to, solo mining. Um, we upgraded that remote garden location so we could show you everything from scaling up and that's with multiple GPUs with the heat removal as well as uh, electric updates needed. But the biggest thing today we're talking with you about is this Zotac Trinity, the RTX 3080 and we've got this thing in our gaming editing mining rig and we are ready to show you guys. So. Like we talked about, we've currently got Awesome Miner running Phoenix Miner, so that's our Miner app, and we've done a lot of testing so far with these, so these numbers are benchmarks. We're not running it all the way around the world on this rig. The reason we're not going to do that is because this rig will crash, and then once it crashes, we're not going to be able to record this video. So we've been giving you some different numbers on these. Today we're benchmarking with Awesome Miner. I did already find out that at 210 watts, like in Hive OS, this GPU is not stable. So we are at 75% power in MSI Afterburner, and that's currently 240 watts, which is what we're seeing most people averaging at as far as their power usage. And we're getting 83 mega hash per second. A couple things I want to talk with you about. Haven't really seen the core adjusted as far as anything goes for core as far as getting better or lower results it's not really doing anything so we're going to leave core at the same we will move power limit up to 85 percent as well as um, 300 percent for this video when we were breaking down the nvidia founders edition rtx 3080 i did find that it could take a lot more memory on windows than what this one can um, i have been able to get and what we'll see here in just a minute we'll show you here but currently we're at 61% fan speed, and we've got zero core, zero memory, 75% power. So let's go ahead and put this up to 250 for the memory overclocks. We'll go ahead and set it in here. So guys, if you guys are new to the channel, it's always a good thing to comment down below. Tell us what you think. Tell us if we missed something in these videos. I am by no means an overclock expert. I don't claim to be. What we're wanting to show you guys here is that two different GPUs do act different to do different overclock settings and stuff, even though they're on the same hardware. What I mean by that is I didn't change anything else in this rig, but we're going to show you guys differences of these GPUs. One of the biggest things I was a fan of with this Zotac is it does have the three fans, and I do believe it does keep things a little cooler without running those fan speeds as high. That NVIDIA Founders Edition is running 100% fan speeds as soon as we get any overclocks. So, we've got 240 watts at the wall, which is 750 or 75% MSI Afterburner. And with an overclock of memory of 250, we're now up to 86 mega hash per second. Real quick, guys, I want to say a big uh, send our thoughts and prayers over to Hash Raptor. Um, just you guys know we're a huge community. We may not even know each other physically or have met people, but there's a lot of people that we consider as our friends. Um, our, our buddy Hash Raptor right now needs all the thoughts we can get. Um, we're just keeping you in our thoughts, Hash Raptor. So as we got this overclock setting here, we've, we're at 86 mega hash per second at 240 watts. I don't have the kilowatt here set up. Our little hashers say make sure you do your own research. We are going to set it up to 500 now on the memory. 
We'll set that in, and we're going to see how, how that does here for us. But as always, guys, please do your own research. We were able to get, in the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to bring you a link to this. Last night, live, we were able to get two RTX 3080s hammering on the same open-air GPU mining rig, and we were using Hive OS with that. But by community request, you guys wanted to see this on Windows. Windows does have some newer updated drivers versus... Um, Linux drivers so that's what we're showing you guys here today and at a memory of 500 with our power limit at 75 percent which is 240 watts we are seeing 88 mega hash per second this GPU at 210 watts on Hive OS was getting over 96 mega hash per second comment down below tell me what you think but to keep it stable on Windows we did need to run 240 watts now Anything over 750, we start to see as a little bit more on the sketchy side as far as crashing goes. So we're going to take it to 750 here at 240 watts. We're going to show you what those, uh, what mega hash per seconds we get here. Once again, guys, we're benchmarking Awesome Miner using Phoenix Miner as our miner app. We do have a Zotac Trinity here in our gaming editing mining Windows rig. We are on a pool side hive on using their ethereum mining pool once again i'm not an overclock expert but i just wanted to show you guys the different settings and such here with the nvidia founders edition i could take it up to about 12 to 1300 on the memory clock but when we start to go any higher than this i do see issues so for some reason currently i'm not and i don't know if it's on my end or not but right now i'm not getting more than 86 mega hash per second so let's go ahead and take our power limit up to 100% just so we can show you guys that it's not really giving us much different here. Once again, guys, I am trying to do some benchmarking on the overclocks. You can currently see at that 750 on the memory clock that the fan speeds or the temps on this Zotac are a lot lower than they were on the NVIDIA. As soon as I put in 500 on the memory clock for our NVIDIA Founders Edition, it did start to go to 100% fan speed. We're just trying to show you guys some real world numbers here. So while we let that settle in, a couple things in the description down below, we got links to everything. You are going to be able to follow us over on Twitter. That's where you can keep up with our latest and greatest. You definitely want to hit that link over to Discord. You can speak to us directly there. If you follow that link in Discord to the water cooler, you are going to be able to see a couple ways to support the channel. So you guys know we're not monetized. Um, we're not getting super chats. So if you guys want to support the channel, a couple ways you can do that. You can pick up the HODL. Um, not your normal miner here, this HODL Bitcoin um, license plate. We ship these free anywhere in the U.S. You can also find in the links down below, not your normal miner's hash merch market where you can pick up the Bitcoin accepted here line. Also, we do have a couple ways so you can send us some love over at coinrequest.io. But today, we've been bringing you benchmarking of this Zotac Gaming, the GeForce RTX 3080 Trinity. And we're, we have been doing that on awesome miner as always guys do your own research it's very important for that but let's go ahead and show you guys here at 200 or at 319 watts we are only getting 87 mega hash per second on this gpu i think something's been wonky here guys with um i do currently have the updated drivers and such on this um, but this thing just is not acting quite right but you can see our temperatures at this rate are down, down, down. So let's see if we can put a little bit more here. Let's see if it'll let a thousand.